Hey, this is Dan with Putz Ponds of Gardens coming to you again, and we're up here in Flint, Michigan. What we're doing is we're going to be renovating an existing pondless waterfall that the homeowners hired a company to build it. Now they're a landscape company, and check out these photos of what the landscape company attempted to do. Not discrediting them or anything, it's just we do these day in and day out. We don't pretend to know brick pavers or flagstones. We just don't do them. Not saying you can't hire a landscaper, but I think these kind of tell the tale of why you should invest in looking into a pond builder to create your water features. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what the guys have got going on so far. Good morning, Brian with Putz Ponds and Gardens, coming at you live from Flint, Michigan. Today um, and tomorrow, we are going to be working on a project that is a renovation. Uh, started doing a pondless waterfall by himself uh, and realized that you might need a little uh, Putz Ponds touch. We're here to basically take it apart and put it back together. Pretty decent sized stone, a lot of options. Add the stream, split stream. Starting way up there, one stream coming in here. Hi Derek. Hello. And the other one coming in right in through here. Use this pretty big rock as his gravel. We're gonna change that out and use cobblestone. Using big stone like this traps a lot of sediment. Leaves get hung up in there. So we'll be taking that all out. We got enough of it. Big pile there, pile here. Uh, here's the basin that was dug. Way too small for this length of stream. It needs to be at least double. It's already got aqua blocks. Pump vault, pump, piping, all that good stuff. We're gonna get to work taking it apart and check back in later. Brian and Derek, they've taken apart the large boulders that you saw in the stream. Right now, this was their cobblestone that was used inside the drop. I don't know if you could tell from the pictures before, but the cobblestone outweighed the size of the drops that were in the water features. So what we like to use is a smaller cobblestone. That cobblestone will, uh, will accentuate the drops, not overpower it. These are filler stones for us. Sometimes we'll use them in a waterfall, sometimes not but uh, there's way too much of it right now. The, uh, the project's been taken apart. We're gonna start up here. One of the things that the other landscaper did is they missed the boat. The viewing area is over here. They had a dual stream coming here and then coming around here to meet into this very, very small basin. We have not excavated that out. They had enough room for two aqua blocks. By the time the pump got started and kicked water all the way up to the top and then filled all these streams, the square footage of those streams with water, you have to add water to this in order to compensate. So they missed the boat on this one. Calculations minimum, you need five to six aqua blocks. So they've 
for some reason they didn't use them we've got 12 aqua blocks out here we're gonna use um, as many as we can to give them three times the amount of water that they're gonna need for running this feature the rocks that they have on site are beautiful we love the fractured boulders granite derek right now is building a retaining wall when we put our waterfall in and it's angled back to the viewing area now what derek wants to do is he wants to put those boulders in there to retain it so that way we don't have the height of the waterfall and the slope of the soil putting any weight on that fence don't want to do that the fences are not made structurally to support any weight so we're doing a retaining wall here we're going to probably do two spillways and then twist right behind brian so we'll have a total of four drops one two three and then four into the basin we're going to elongate this basin over this way once we do that we'll have enough room for our aqua blocks and our vault get this thing all padded up and then put the uh, liner in today we'll have the basin all done and the uh, streams all shaped up follow along with us we got work to do stopping back in to check on the guys you know it always makes me nervous when I don't run the job a hundred percent but I put trust in the the crew that we have and they've never ceased to amaze me let's check it out so we got the team of Brian and Derek out here there's the Brian and <laughs> Derek doesn't like to be on camera, so I don't like to film them too much. That's going to change. So they've got the basin in right now, and they've got the basin exactly how we like it. A little bit sunken. That way it helps the rocks on the, around the edge blend in. Stream somewhat carved out right now. I really like how they've made multiple drops just in one spot. That's going to look really cool. We've got the big boulders that the homeowner provided for us. We're just the saviors out here. We're going to make things right for them because they were um, kind of led astray from the last contractor. So we're going to make it right and do them a solid on this job. So this pile of oversized cobble right here, that's what the first landscaper used as gravel in the stream. A lot of their drops that were in the stream were only six, eight inches. This overshadowed all the drops that were in the stream. There were no drops once they graveled it all in or cobbled it all in. I wanted to show you a, a stone. Let's see if any of you can guess. Put your comments down below. I won't tell you what it is, but look at that beauty. I mean, the nooks and crannies in that one with all the, the gravel that just stuck in there. Isn't that a perfect stone to work with? Leave a comment below and let us know if you can figure out what type of stone this is. <laughs> We've had a light mist of rain all day today. Makes it really nice to work in. But the stream is all carved out now. This is what I showed you earlier with the multiple drops here. We've got another really wide drop here, but one of the reasons why Brian might, likes to make that really wide is because we've got some two foot boulders in here. That's gonna take up a lot of the stream. They'll dig them down, sink them into the ground so it doesn't look like they dropped out of the sky and they're sitting alongside of a stream bed. Let me show you another thing. All along our stream, we've got this product here. This is called concrete cloth. The reason why we have a concrete cloth is because the homeowners have indicated that they have a lot of chipmunks in this neighborhood. So chipmunks like to burrow underneath the liner, make a den for the winter time. When they do that, they get really curious and then they start chewing on the liner. And that's one thing that, you know, we don't want any holes in the liner. So if we can prevent them from going underneath the liner, they can't make it through that um, cement cloth. What we do is we do it just along the edges so that prevents them from burrowing underneath our liner and potential holes are swarted so we don't have that problem because chipmunks will do a lot of damage. So the guys are getting ready to bring in the liner right now. That liner is going to be attached to a spillway up on top. We've got an aquascape pondless waterfall spillway. They'll attach the liner there, connect the piping. The piping's already been run from here all the way up to the top. We're using the flexible two inch 
uh, PVC piping. Again, the homeowner supplied that one. Once that's all connected up, then we can start the fun work, designing, placing rocks, and getting really creative. So let me show you from by the house. This is gonna be their vantage point. You got a kitchen window here. I don't know about you, but when I look out my kitchen window, I like to be able to see the waterfall. So right in through here, right between this little shed, right by the bucket, you're gonna be able to see the waterfall coming down there. You'll be able to see the next drop, but then it disappears. To me, there's nothing more interesting than a waterfall that twists and turns, because when it does that, people inside the house, they're curious. They wanna come out. You have guests that come over, they're gonna to want to investigate on what is actually happening in the backyard. Let me go up on the deck and I'll show you. So up here by the deck, you can see the guys putting the uh, liner in now, but this is their sitting area. Of course, this time of year, they've got all their furniture and everything put away. What a nice spot just to be able to see that waterfall, but all that sound is gonna emulate this way. So it's just for the homeowners to sit back, enjoy the evening, maybe a cocktail or two, just enjoy the lifestyle. All right, so the guys stayed up here a little bit later yesterday, got the stream all rocked in. Um, we're just waiting for some foam to dry, and then we're gonna show you what this bad boy looks like. We got a couple drops, they got lights on all the drops. Down here in the basin, everything's all covered, hidden. They've got a bib liner on here to extend the water flow around the vault, so it doesn't just go from that last drop into uh, the basin, look like nothing but what you're looking at now, just a big gravel basin. We always like to have some water moving in here. Give us a couple more minutes and we'll turn this thing on. Okay, so I'm here with Dorothy, the homeowner, and Dorothy's not gonna go on camera. But Dorothy, what do you think? I think it sounds beautiful. You like it? So this project was already started uh, before we got here. Mm -hmm. And right here is a picture of, of what um, it looked like before. So what are your thoughts on what we did versus what was already here? I'd like to see that there's been progress, <laughs> that we've got something accomplished. So it, how long were, how long was the project before? Oh. Well, just, it's been seven weeks. It's been seven weeks that they didn't even get the, um, everything cleaned up. Okay, so they were still in progress yeah, of doing it. Yeah, yeah. But the end result, the reason why you called us because we wanted the time. We wanted the time to get completed. We hired a landscaper to do us a harmless waterfall. Um, they said it would take three to four weekends, um, working Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, they said it would take three to four. And uh, seven weeks into it, we had a big mess going. So we uh, contacted Dan and uh, he was nice enough to come out here and look at it and, and uh, assess what needed to be done. And, if anything was wrong or not. And uh, we decided to go with Dan and we don't regret it. Everything was put together, everything was hardscaped in and now it's up to us just to put the finishing touches on it and, and uh, we couldn't be happier. I'm just happy it got done. So this is uh, the end result of our project up here in Flint Township. A little bit of a difference. They originally had a dual stream, oversized cobblestone that was here in the stream as gravel you couldn't see any of the drops it's very evident now where the drops are here here and all the way up so we try to keep everything as natural as possible we just try to vary the boulders in size because in nature you're not going to see a stream or a waterfall with the exact same boulders along the entire uh, stream bed so let us know in the comments below what you think subscribe so you can catch all of our YouTube videos. All right, so that's a wrap up here in Flint Township on this pondless waterfall. You heard it from the homeowners. They're loving it, and we're gonna be on to the next project. Make sure you leave your comments below. Make sure you subscribe and like our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.